just a quick video on how to adjust trailer brakes, Alco trailer brakes in particular. Just a normal 8x5 Alco cable brakes installed on a brand new axle. Beautiful job. Custom made axle. Very well built. Had a few problems with the brakes. So just thought I'd do a quick video on how to adjust them. So you back the adjuster right off under there. There's the adjuster. Back it right off till it's right out. Jack the trailer up, make sure the wheels turn, which they will. Then the main adjustment is obviously under load, which is here. This is your cable adjustment. Now bearing in mind when a load goes on a trailer, the axle will move backwards marginally. So the difference, because it swings back on that pivot there, as the chassis comes down the trailer, axle goes back, putting strain on the cable. Now what happened with this one, it wasn't, the parts that were supplied with it weren't the best quality, and the pulley, little pulley here, that the cable runs through was really, really cheap pulley. This one's been replaced, if I can just try and get a shot of it. It's been replaced by a stainless steel balcony pulley. It had a little pressed tin pulley and the cable fell down beside the pulley and the body and jammed holding the brakes on, which resulted in snapping the cable and burning out the shoes on one side. So took me about three goes to put it back together to work out what actually went wrong because it was a chain of events. The first thing that went wrong is the cable dropped into that pulley. Sorry about the video. Right, so we've changed that to a high quality stainless steel pulley from good old Bunnings. Note, we've also tied the pulley up and we've also tied this pulley up because what was happening when it was going along the road even with the brakes fully backed off on the brand new shoes, this was flopping up and down, pulling the brakes on because that's got a 300 mil drop on it. So every time we went over a bump, the trailer's going bang, 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 bang. These brakes are awesome. I mean, they are so good. The wife loves them. They're awesome brakes. So this has to be supported, right? The cable has to be supported probably and the pulley has to be of suitable quality that the cable can't get between the sheave and the pulley block. So then the way I've got these adjusted, you can reverse it up a gutter empty, but you can't reverse it up a gutter when it's loaded because the brakes come on. We do a lot of high speed stops with ABS because we live in kangaroo country and this trailer pulls the car up better than the car pulls up by itself. Believe it or not, that's what it feels like. Probably not the actual physical case, but that's what it feels like when you're in the car with a full load on and you hit the picks real hard for a roo. This trailer actually appears to stop the car faster than if the car was independent. Um, I think that's about it. I've cut the handbrake handle off because I don't like falling over them at three o'clock in the morning. And uh, this um, gadget here, the um, backing plate thing, is held up with cable tie because it um, tends to fly up and go in and turn your brakes off so I just put that video up just as a reminder to myself how to adjust cable brakes they are awesome brakes but the return spring in the drum is very very weak to enable the cable brakes to work and because it's so weak it doesn't take much strain or weight here to apply the brakes which will chew the shoes down to halfway, and then it stops doing it, but you're getting outside that braking efficiency zone. I hope that helps someone adjust them, because uh, I'm supposed to be a motor mechanic and it took me three goes. Thank you.